Hello dear learners, I'm Amy Zinna. I'm again with you. Uh, today's topic is electrochemical series. When you have the electrolysis in which the electrolyte contains just one cation and one anion, then the reactions are very simple. Because you just have one cation that will gain electrons and the one anion that will lose electrons. Get example here, suppose you got lead chloride electrolysis. When you electrolyze lead chloride, then you need to first melt lead chloride to have mobile ions. When you get mobile ions after melting lead chloride, then you have lead ions and chloride ions are separate. And when you pass electricity through them with electrodes, then the lead ions will approach to the cathode and there that will gain electrons to form lead metal. And the chloride ions will approach to the anode there they, that will lose electrons to form chlorine gas. And when this is electrolysis with sodium chloride, then sodium chloride uh, could be molten. Then molten sodium chloride just has two ions, sodium ion and chloride ion. Accordingly, you will get sodium at cathode and at anode you will get chlorine. So these are all examples of electrolysis containing single compound and just one type of ions, one type of cations and one type of anions. But if, if you have more than one cations and more than one anion, then what will happen? So suppose you think for two cations uh, in an electrolyte, so when you start passing electricity through the electrolyte, not both the cation will gain electrons together. Here is a competition of gaining electrons. So just one of them will gain electrons first, leaving others behind. When one is finished, and then the other, the remaining cation will approach to the cathode to gain electrons. So they gain electron one after another. And same thing happens for the anions. When you have more than one anions in the electrolyte, not both the anions or all the anions lose electrons together at the same time. No. Uh, first one of them is prior to lose electrons. When that is finished in the electrolyte then the other ion will approach to the anode to lose electrons. This is how there is a series, a competitive series. We call the series electrochemical series. So as we are dealing with both cations and anions, so we'll have two series. One series will be for cations and the other series will be for anions. So now we first have a look for the series of the cations. Here we get some metals in our column. First one is potassium, the last one is gold. This is basically a reactivity series of metals. So here are few metals only. There are actually many metals, but we picked up just few of them. And these are arranged according to the reactivity. And the first one is more reactive, so that will lose electron before all of them. And the last one is least reactive, which will lose electron at the last. And when all of them together and you need electron, you ask for electrons from all of them, then the first one, potassium, will lose electron first. Then you will get electron from sodium. Sodium lose electrons to form sodium ion. And then gradually, each of them, I mean, the reactivity decreases down the group and they will be losing electrons to form their cations and the last one to lose electron is gold here to give you gold ion now you get here two series the first series you already got here the series of metals and another series you get the series of cations and now we compare these two series the first column first series this is series of the metals starting with potassium when you compare stability of the metals, then you get potassium is least stable because that is most reactive to losing electron before all of them. And the last one is gold, which is here least reactive and most stable. They're synonymous. Now you talk about all the ions. If you change your mind to give the electrons back to the ions, to the cation, this time you don't have the metal, you just have the ion. Which one will gain electrons first? This is actually gold ion because gold ion formed as a last. Among all the ions you got the first ion formed was potassium because potassium ion is most stable. Here you got potassium metal is least stable and potassium ion is most stable and that how they are related. If the metal is most reactive the ions are most stable. 
that you get here potassium ion is most stable and the least stable of the ion is gold ion so when you are planning to give them electron back let's say the gold ion gaining electrons before all the ions and then gradually silver ion copper ion will gain electrons we get as we got the series of ions that the last one is most stable so we are writing the last one first we are picking the last one gold ion first and then we putting the order silver ion and then accordingly we are giving all other ions and we are arranging them with a proper order based on their reactivity the last one comes here potassium ion because in the ions potassium is least reactive this is actually another series we call this electrochemical series in this series you get potassium ion comes last and gold ions comes first in terms of gaining electrons gold ion is the firstest and potassium ion is the lastest but when you got the metals then you got potassium was the fastest but that was to tendency of losing electron now you see here the differences between reactivity series and electrochemical series first you get this is a series of metals and this is a series of metal ions cations here and then you get this is based on the tendency of losing electrons for metals and for the metal ions electrochemical series you get this is based on tendency of gaining electrons so this is how they are different but with two conditions then order may be changed slightly which is when you get two ions with close competition in the electrochemical series suppose here gold ion and then comes silver ion they are very close in the series and then another condition is when you have the concentration of the next ion which is silver here must more than concentration of gold ion then before gold ion the silver ion may gain electrons and this you get between any two ions when you are close together but this is not possible for two ions when they are not close in the electrochemical series suppose here hydrogen ion and sodium ion they are far away in the series when you have concentration of sodium ion much more than concentration of hydrogen ion here but still hydrogen ion will gain electron because the tendency is hugely different this is how you get the electrochemical series of ions work so this was all about the electrochemical series of metal ions and uh, like uh, the electrochemical series of cations we also have an electrochemical series for anions in electrochemical series of anions you get first hydroxide ions then we get halides which are basically chloride bromide and iodide and after them you get nitrate ions and and the last you get sulfate ion this is a short series short electrochemical series of the anions so if you ask for electrons or if all of them are together in an electrolyte and if you pass electricity then the first one hydroxide will oppose to the anode to lose electrons when hydroxides are finished then next suppose here halogen or chlorine will lose electrons so gradually their selection their order decreases down the group so thank you very much thank you for being with us thank you